Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install cellular blackout shades. And I'm gonna be using my upstairs windows for this where you can see I've got a lot of light coming through right now. So we're gonna go through this process. We're gonna talk about measuring the windows and then how to cut the blinds and install them. Okay, the first thing you wanna do before you buy your blinds is you wanna measure your windows. Now, I'm gonna be talking solely about measurements that concern inside mounting on the window. Now, you wanna measure at three different spots on the window for the width. So you wanna measure the bottom, the middle, and the top part of the window. And it's very important you do this. For example, I bought 34 inch blinds. And if I just were to look at the middle or the bottom part measurement of my window, it's 34 inches. And I would assume it would be able to work. But when I measure the top, it's only 33 and 7 eighths wide at the top. So my 34 inch blind will not fit in here. I'm gonna have to cut it down to size. So make sure you do all three measurements because you wanna go off of the smallest measurement that you get. Now you also wanna measure the length. Go ahead and measure from the top of the window down to the top of the window sill. And that'll give you your overall length that you wanna have. Now some people will say that you need to measure two or even three places and go ahead and do the ends and the middle. I think that's a little overkill because ultimately your length of the window isn't gonna change that much compared to the width and it's not as big of a deal. Overall, you're still gonna to wanna to have a set of blinds that isn't precisely the window's length. You wanna have like an extra inch or two so that it, the bottom of the blinds rests comfortably on that window sill. Okay, so you've done your measurement and gone and bought your blinds from the store. Now, most likely what you'll find is that you're gonna end up buying blinds that are close in width to what you need, but they're not gonna be precise and you're gonna to have to get them cut. Now, if you're really lucky, the store can cut them for you. And in my case, the style or the brand I bought, they would not cut these because they did not have the uh, tool there to cut this brand. They had the one for a different brand, but they weren't allowed to cut this particular one because they apparently would clog the machine. So if you run into that case and you are installing by your, um, on your own, you're gonna have to cut them. Now, the tool recommended for the job is a miter saw, and you could use a circular saw, but it's probably not gonna be as precise as the miter saw, so I would highly recommend using the miter saw. Now, before you do it, and this applies uh, specifically, I'm gonna be talking about the cellular style blinds here. Um, the cellular can shift here, so you see right now, it's nice and squared up on this edge, but I'm gonna do a real dramatic so you can see. You can end up having it shifted over like this, where if you were to cut it right now, then you're obviously not cutting the whole piece at one time. So you end up with like your, the blinds itself are to the correct size, but your trim at the bottom is not. So you really wanna make sure that they're nice and square to start with. So what I like to do, just put it on the table, square it up, and then take the end. And that's gonna look something like this, where I've got it taped, I've marked right here where I need to cut, and hopefully with the tape on here as well, it should help prevent a little more of the tear out and damage that can sometimes happen with saw blades. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this now and then I'll do the other one as well and we'll see how it turns out. One more thing I forgot to mention. If you're cutting the cellular style blinds, in particular my brand specifies that if you're gonna be cutting them down to, to size, do not cut off more than four inches total. So if you cut off anything more than half an inch, it should be divided up and taken off of both sides equally. So in this case, if you can only do four inches total, then it should only be two inches per side. Now, I'm only be cutting off about an eighth of an inch, and that's because my, my window size is right around 34 inches wide, and I bought 34 inch wide blinds. And so they do fit, but they are a little bit tight. So I'm gonna cut off that tiny amount so that I can put them in nice and easily. Now, this brand does specify that if your blinds are 23 inches wide for your window and you need to trim them down, they do not want you to cut off more than one inch per side because anything more at that point could cut too close to the mechanism that opens and closes the blinds and at that point you could damage your blinds and they won't work. So the good news is, is that after cutting it, the blinds fit perfectly within the window. The bad news is they won't fit perfectly once I put these in. So these little plastic pieces are the little end caps that go right here. Whoops, wrong way. There we go. And they cover up your ends so that if you do have to cut your blinds, you don't have to see any of the damaged plastic right here. That might be a little bit rough. The problem is, is I only cut one eighth of an inch off because that's all I needed. 
However, each of these pieces is a 16th of an inch. So combined, both sides are an eighth of an inch. So I'm back where I started. So I need to go back downstairs and cut off another eighth of an inch. Okay, now that I've gone back and recut my blinds, now that they actually fit, I'm gonna go ahead and install my mounting brackets. So these are really easy. You're gonna have two screws per, and since we're doing uh, mounted to the inside of the window, we're gonna have the screws go through the top of them. So we're just gonna go ahead and put them up here. I'm gonna use the original mounting holes for the old blinds as my reference point, and I'm just gonna cover them up because they're roughly equal distance inward, it's just a couple of inches. And then I'm gonna mark my hole. Okay, and with my drill, using a three 30 seconds inch drill bit, we're gonna drill a couple pilot holes. Okay, with my holes drilled, I'm gonna go ahead and screw in my brackets. Okay, now that the mounting bracket is attached, I can go ahead and attach the blinds. What I wanna do is I wanna come in from the top and hook it on the top little lip, and then come down, rotate it in, and snap inward until it clicks into place, just like that. You have a little bit of adjustment you can do. It's a little tight, but you can shift it left and right if need be to center it. Mine looks pretty good. And at this point, go ahead and extend the blinds. Now you will see that they'll grab a little bit. That's fine. You can just separate them with your fingers. And the best thing to do is once you pull them open all the way, is pull them open all the way down and use the weight of the blinds to help straighten them out and get them all kind of separated from each other, just like that. As you can see, the blinds are really easy to install, but some of you might be saying to yourself, I don't own a miter saw, what am I gonna do? Maybe I should just go and have a contractor install them. Well, let's go over some simple math that's involved with buying the blinds and having the contractor do it. So a lot of people are gonna go to their local box store like Home Depot or Lowe's, pick up their blinds, and they're gonna look at the fact and probably hear from the employees that Home Depot and Lowe's will offer installation for a price, and you might consider taking them up on that. So let's go over what Home Depot offers. For our example, we're gonna use Home Depot's rates. Now Lowe's was a very similar amount, but it wasn't as easy to find a breakdown of each individual rate on their website. Now for Home Depot to come out and measure your windows, it's a flat rate of $50. Now that doesn't matter if you're doing one or 10. For the installation of one to 10 windows, it will be $119, no matter if you're just doing the one or you're doing a full 10. So obviously you get the most bang for your buck for 10 windows. Now, if you have to have the old blinds removed and you have 10 windows that we're dealing with, then it's gonna cost you $5 per window. So that's gonna be a total of $50. For your hallway, it's $10 per window. And that's basically just to throw away the old blinds. So that's a total of $100. Cutting the blinds to size like I just did will be $15 per window. So that's a total of $150 total. The pickup rate is a flat rate of $30. This is if you want the contractor to pick them up at the store for you rather than you doing it yourself. Now for these blinds, I spent about $46 total. So correct, $46 on each of them. So all together, if you're doing 10 windows and they were the same rate, then it's gonna cost you $460 for the blinds. Now all together, this will cost you $959 before tax. Now you might be wondering what it would cost if you had to buy a miter saw and a drill for yourself, because those are the two most expensive tools that you would have to use for this project. So all together, we would be looking at the 460 for the blind still, and then a miter saw on a cheap end will cost anywhere between $150 to $250 and drills are usually less than $50. So worst case, you're spending about $300 on your tools. So 460 plus the 300, and we're coming out to around $760 before tax. So overall, we could spend doing it ourselves, we could have a savings of about $200. That's enough, you could afford to take the wife out to dinner once or twice. All right, that completes the installation process for installing cellular style blackout shades. 
Now, there is one more thing I want to bring up, and that is if you're looking to get a precise length, you can order them online, special order, and get the precise width at the same time. It will, however, cost almost twice the amount as to what you're going to find in the store. So I did look on mine. Mine were $46 in the store, but they were around, I think, $90 if I wanted to order something that was a exact fit to my window for length and width. So I would still highly recommend that you go ahead and just cut them yourself, or you could go with the installation from the store, but it's gonna be a lot more money if you decide to buy it um, for a precise fit to your window. So I hope you guys learned something in this video, and if you did, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and uh, click the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt.